and today we're making a, a bouncy, bouncy ball. ball. Ella, can you believe we're actually gonna make a bouncy ball today? That's so cool. Did you even know that was possible? Uh, yeah, probably. Oh, oh yeah, I mean, if someone else can make it, why not us, right? <laughs> Should we see what's in our kit today? Yeah. Okay. A piece of paper towel, two cups, a craft stick, a popsicle stick, borax, cornstarch, some glue, and some paint. Okay, on top of everything in your kit today, all you'll need is some very warm water. Okay, you wanna make sure it's pretty warm, and then once you have that, we're ready to get started. Woo! Okay, Ella, to get started, I like to lay my paper towel flat out because if we put down anything, we're gonna to wanna to put it on the paper towel, right? Yeah. Get one of your cups, put it in the middle of your paper towel. We're gonna fill that cup halfway with our warm water. Now grab the bag that has the B on it, and the B stands for borax. We're gonna open up our borax, add it to our warm water, cap it out, there you go, and let's stir with our big craft stick. You wanna make sure to scrape the bottom of your cup and the sides so that all that powder gets mixed with the water. If at any time in this Winkle video we get going too far ahead of you, you can always press pause and then press play when you're all cut up. Also, if you need instructions again or didn't quite understand something, you can always press rewind and then press play again. This bouncy ball is going to be made from a polymer, okay? Glue is actually a type of polymer and we're, we're gonna talk a little bit about that. The borax is going to act as a cross linker when we're making our polymer today. So we're gonna set that aside. Get out your other cup, good. In our other cup, we're going to mix our glue, that's that squishy white stuff, the cornstarch, that's the powdery stuff, and our paint. What color did you get? Pink. Pink? I got green. Okay, let's start with our glue. Open that up, and we're gonna squeeze it out. And the way I like to squeeze it out is I get my two fingers like this. That way I can make sure that I get as much of that glue out as possible. Yep, squeeze out all that glue into the cup. Yep, you wanna make sure to squeeze all that out. I get my fingers like this and I squeeze it all out. You wanna get all that glue out into your cup. Good, and then you can just put your baggie on your paper towel like you did. All right, and then we're gonna open up the cornstarch and pour that into our glue. Glue contains a polymer called polyvinyl acetate or PVA and that's going to be cross-linking itself with our borax later. The cornstarch that we're adding helps bind the molecules together so the ball will hold its shape. Isn't that pretty cool? Mm -hmm. Starch is something that helps things hold its shape, so it's gonna help our ball hold our shape today. Now with our popsicle stick, we're going to uh, dig the paint out of our little bucket of paint that we have here. To open these, it's a flip thing. So this part flips up and this part flips down. So if you have your pincher fingers like this and you kind of twist your pincher fingers, it'll pop open. Okay, we're gonna dig that paint out with our craft stick. Make sure it gets in your cup. You get it? Mm -hmm. Good. I like to scrape the sides just so I can make sure I got all the paint. This will help our ball. This really doesn't do anything for like the science of our ball. It just makes our ball colorful, which is really fun, right? That's pretty good. I'm gonna put the lid back on mine just so it doesn't spill over and make a mess. I'm gonna give that a stir. Ooh, nice. Ooh, that's so cool. So gooey. Yeah, it is. It looks fun. Ooh. <laughs> It kind of looks like slime or foam or yeah, something it looks like, like slime. that, right? Yeah, it's cool. Okay, get that craft stick, that popsicle stick, and kind of scrape off the sides. We're not going to need that anymore. You can put it down on your paper towel. Good job. All right, take our water mixture. Remember what we had in here? Mm -hmm. What was it called? The it was the bo borax yes, and water. Borax and water. Right. We're going to pour it into our cup with the paint in it. And this is gonna happen pretty quickly before our eyes, okay? So we've gotta stir it. And look at that. It's already starting to make that chemical bond. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll stir it with our craft stick until we can't stir it anymore. And then we'll start just rolling it around with our hands. 
Okay. I don't think I can stir it at I know, all. you gotta really work your muscles. Okay, when it gets impossible to stir, is it impossible to stir? Kind of. Okay, we're gonna get it out. <sighs> there you go, get it out. And we're going to roll it with our hands. <laughs> Ew, it's so gooey. It is, it's so gooey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, remember we're trying to make a bouncy ball, right? Okay, so you're gonna put one hand down flat, and this hand is going to go in a circle. And that's gonna help make our ball round. If you need to blot it on your paper towel for a little bit, get some moisture out, you can do that as well. You could even sprinkle a little bit more of your cornstarch on it and that helps it get a little bit drier so that it's not as sticky. How's your ball looking? Good. Let's see. Ooh, that's cool. So Ella, we just learned about chemical bonding. This bouncy ball is made from a polymer. Remember we talked about polymers? Yeah. They are molecules made up of repeating chemical units, okay? Glue, that white glue that we have is called PVA, polymer polyvinyl acetate. When the glue mixture was added to the borax, the borax acted as a cross-linker, hooking the glue's molecules together to form the rubbery bouncy ball. The cornstarch, remember how we talked about? That helped make the, give the ball shape, mm -hmm. remember? And the paint, mm -hmm. just to look good, right? And now the ball can bounce because of those cross-linked polymers. Should we give it a try? Yeah. Okay, let's clear our station just a little bit. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Woo! That is so cool! <laughs> oh, that is awesome! <laughs> that is so fun. Okay, so Ella, one trick today I want to tell everybody is keep your Winkle bag that it came in. So if you're playing with it, that's fine, but when you're done playing with it, put it back in your bag, seal up your bag and try and press some of that air out so that it doesn't dry out, and then it'll be ready to play with, and it might last up to six to eight weeks. Isn't that so fun? Yeah. Yeah. Ella, did you love this video today? Yes. It was so fun. If you guys like this video, please press like and subscribe. That way, every time we come out with new Winkle videos, you'll be the first to know. Also, check out down below for freebies and thewinkle.com. Ella, I would love to see how our friend's bouncy balls turned out. If you guys have a grown-up take a picture or video of you and your bouncy ball, have them put it on social media. Tag us at the Winkle Crate. That way we can see what you made and how it turned out. Yeah. Have fun with your bouncy ball today, everybody. Bye. Woo! <laughs> That's fun. It is so fun.